All right, guys, I, um, I want to talk about something I, I probably made up the term today myself, which is um, fractional dictation. Um, I seen this yesterday, four days ago. Um, I was listening to Jordan Peterson talking to a transgender guy in uh, New, from New Zealand. And there was an interesting point that was brought up. And it was quite funny how the guy got very defensive, or whatever he wants to call himself, because the whole thing was about whether it's a Z, whether it's this, whether it's that. My answer to this is give nobody their... <laughs> um, I don't give anybody their title. I don't use first names. Generally, you'll hear me actually say nothing to anybody. Um, I won't say their first name. I won't say Mr. Miss or anything else, because I'll be honest, I just blanket all of it and don't, don't get involved at all. It may sound a bit severe, but like I said, I can't be bothered with it. Um, but anyway, so it was about whether people should be called Z, whether this, because they're, they're putting it into the law in Canada, which is a bit peculiar. Um, but as he was talking, the conversation got to the point where he was saying, um, Jordan Peterson actually said, you do not represent the gay people because he gets messages from uh, emails from people in the gay community, etc. And they kind of got very defensive on it. But it's true. These are what I call fractional dictation. Because this individual will actually say, I represent whatever. They don't. And I've seen it in feminism. And I've seen it in um, environmental movements and things like that. They dictate. They dictate as if they are speaking for the group or the majority or whatever. They're not, and Jordan Peterson quite rightly said, they're not elected. Nobody voted these people in. In fact, what they're saying often goes against what a lot of other people would actually say from their own community. But there's no discussion around this sort of stuff. And I do think that if you're, you know, I do think feminists, transgender, whatever groups, should actually discuss things between themselves. Because um, that's how democracy should work. But what you do find often these days is it's those that shout loudest get heard. Everybody else just sits in the corner, not wanting to be branded as a racist, sexist or anything else. So they just let these people do what they want. And yet they don't even represent the groups that they're coming from. Um... And that's what I like about MGTOW. The stuff I put on MGTOW, I do get people conflict with me. They're like, well, you're married. You shouldn't even talk about MGTOW. Um, you get other people say, well, MGTOW's this, and then MGTOW's another. Do you know what the difference is? We're discussing it. The whole point is, I have no problem with people actually saying, I don't agree with you, because that's the point of it. You don't have to agree with me. It doesn't matter if you agree with me or not. The whole point is, it's a conversation piece. Um, the MGTOW stuff I do agree with because a lot of it is personal development a lot of it is being aware of the fact you can get fleeced when you're in your 20s or whatever and it will affect you into your retirement and if more people woke up to that early on the better the world would be um, because it would have a knock on effect because these um, marriages are well, kids out of wedlock would be reduced, wouldn't say it wouldn't happen, come on, let's be realistic. Um, things like um, financial security, women would have to, the women that abuse this would have to deal with things themselves because the guys ain't being roped into it anymore. So the next generation would have to deal with a bit of reality for a change instead of just going, give me money, social system or ex-husband, whatever. So I do think this is the important bit, is the discussion piece. And the funny thing is, this guy actually kicked it back to Gordon, uh, Jordan Peterson there. Um, well, who voted you in? Well, nobody, because he's representing himself. In the same way here, I represent myself. You know, this, this, this end, it channels my name. Because the whole point being is, you're, there's no problem with debating or discussing something. Because that's how you get to a point of um, what should be a democratic decision. But like I said, you probably get with these people is fractional dictation. Fractional in the sense that they're a part of a larger group, but they dictate as if they are the larger group when they're not. They're not at all. Um, 
and I'm not for all-inclusive things either because it doesn't work you can never make everybody happy the uti utopia does not exist and um, there will always be somebody who's unhappy with a decision for example just take capitalism and socialism the complete opposites in the same way true free market doesn't exist yet some people will say we have a free market and as I say to them well, why is it a bottle of wine here in Spain only costs about 50 pence a litre yet the same bottle in the UK is three pounds well sorry it's more than three pounds the tax is three pounds it's supposed to be a free market across Europe it doesn't exist Corporates have moved across Europe, don't get me wrong. Look at the storm of Aldi and Little right across the UK and other parts of Europe. They're everywhere. Um, but I'm going to be off tangent here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that up is recognize fractional dictation because a lot of these people will create barriers between different people and different groups to suit their own agenda at the same time. If the other people actually talked, they would actually come to a better agreement because, do you know what, you could actually agree where somebody that's dictating they want this, want that, um, and then promote themselves as the majority. Um, no, they're not the majority for a start, but also what they're dictating, a lot of people in their own group don't even agree with them. The group that they're not actually representing but telling people they are. Thanks for watching.